Titus Moore and his daughter currently live in a two-bed hotel room with no proper kitchen to cook. Ever since the city condemned the floral complex on January 25th, Titus and his daughter eat microwavable pantry food provided by Omaha nonprofit together. To the building. I mean, he said, you know, he didn't care about us and like that, you know, he didn't care the way he was living. Titus is now looking to join the fight against flora apartment landlord William Stanick, not only as an evacuated tenant, but as Stanick's very own underpaid maintenance worker. We was the maintenance man. We stayed downstairs in the basement. We was the maintenance man, but he didn't give us, you know, he wouldn't give us all the materials and stuff that we need to really fix the apartment like we wanted to fix it. Attorney Dave Panto says although his seven clients each have slightly different situations, they all have one thing in common, and that is the mental and physical trauma associated with the living conditions at 25th and Jones. They're just tenants, and uh, they have no power, and the landlords have power, they have lobbyists, they have lawyers, and uh, so it's an unequal situation. Panto says in addition to the lack of enforcement on basic housing codes in Omaha, the Nebraska Residential Landlord Tenant Act is stacked against their favor, making it easy for landlords to collect rent and exploit disadvantaged people. Well, I'm hoping, I'm hoping to find a place, apartment, where I had to go through this, you know. So I'm just waiting on them, see what they're going to do. Tenants like Titus are still thinking of their next move. For the Omaha News, I'm Pauline Dulang.